Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Kryptonite Core. As you can tell, it's a bright and sunny day here. And hopefully it's a bright and sunny day Monday as well. Anyways, welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, have no fear. Because John Woods is here and I'm ready to direct you all from being amateur, amateur wrestling fans into becoming the serious form of wrestling fans that have ever existed. Alright? And... If you're new, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, I try my dearest to upload daily with um, wrestling content and other content as well. It's always a surprise on my channel, but uh, I always like to interact with wrestling fans because they're, they're, they're crazy fans, but they're cool fans. I like them. I love them. Um... So, Monday Night Raw, we have a couple of crazy, cool things happening. First, we have a highly anticipated tag team match between uh, good old faithful two-time Royal Rumble winner, uh, Seth Rollins' best buddy in the whole world right now, Cody Rhodes, teaming up with Sami Zayn, who should be in the Elimination Chamber, but for some reason he's not. Probably because he's going to be fighting one of these foes. At the Elimination Chamber. So they're going to be... Uh, Cody Rhodes and Sami Zayn are going to be taking on Shinsuke Nakamura and Drew McIntyre in a tag team match. Now I know that match sounds really good. Oh, it sounds incredible. Oh my gosh. But as great as that match sounds, that match should not be the main event. Mm -mm. Nope. Mm -mm. The main event should be like, you know, a 25-minute match. You know, let's be honest. This match should be a 25-minute match. Where Jey Uso challenges Gunther for the Intercontinental Championship. That match, oh, it should be the main event. Uh, that's the reason why people will be tuning in to the product the last hour. The, um, yeah, Jey Uso uh, is good. He's really good. And I want him eventually to hold and possess that Intercontinental Championship. Don't get me wrong. He's good. He's talented. He's one of a kind. And he is the main event guy. But, ah, there's something in me that tells me that Gunther should hold on a little tidbit longer because I think that someone, whoever, whoever defeats him and dethrones him to become the man of the hour, too sweet to be sour, and becomes the new intercontinental heavyweight champion, should do that on the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Okay, shouldn't it just happen on a random Monday Night Raw, you know? No. I know as great as that would be for whomever did that on Monday Night Raw, it's not going to happen right now. Okay? I think Gunther deserves to continuously uh, be the man um, because I think they're priming him to be a future world heavyweight champion. Okay, they're gonna they're priming him to be the man to unseat possibly Seth Rollins or Roman Reigns or uh, you know become a guy who's gonna take the CM Punk spot or the Drew McIntyre spot or something like that because talent runs through his veins. All right, wrestling is flowing continuously through that man's head and he's continuously thinking about how he can get better. He's already really good. But he's thinking about how he can get a little bit better every single match. The reasoning I want that match to be the main event because Jey Uso deserves that spot. And let's be honest, he's fought so hard. Like his Hell in a Cell match against his own family, Roman Reigns. That was an incredible contest and it really got him on the map. But let's be honest... It didn't get him to the singles plateau that he needs to be. Because you, like, you have famous tag teams all over the wrestling landscape in the last 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 years. And there's, already, there's always one tag team partner who's always shining brighter or better than the other brother or other partner. Harlem Heat, you had Burger T outshining Stevie Ray. The Hardys, you have Jeff Hardy outshining Matt Hardy. Legion of Doom. 
Animal Outshining Hawk. You know, uh, APA. You had Bradshaw outshine Farouk. Now, I would actually say Farouk outshine Bradshaw just a little bit because he was the first black world's heavyweight champion. That was an incredible moment, and Farouk is incredible. I like Ron Simmons. Uh, you know, so you go through all the tag teams, New Age Outlaws. You go through the Team 3D. You go through, you know, um, the Chris Brothers. You go through, um, you know, uh, you can even go through, uh, you know, Kevin Steen and El Jericho, you know, a good old uh, Chris Jericho and uh, Christian Cage, um, you know, tag teams throughout wrestling history, not just, you know, from today, you know, 2024. You go through all history, all wrestling history. So, Jey Uso is the one who stands out in the Usos, though. Jimmy, yeah, he, he, looks, uh, he looks like he's struggling a little bit on the single train, uh, but uh, eventually he might do well, all right? Jey Uso is thriving. He's doing great, all right? But I want to see him win the Intercontinental Championship later, okay? Maybe at like a SummerSlam. Maybe at a WrestleMania. But I want to see him do that later, after Gunther has already won the world championship or something. Okay, so but but I want to see this match go on, and I want to see it be a five star clinic because these two guys, both of them are incredible athletes, and they both can get that. Okay, we've seen what Gunther can do. All right, matches with like people like Sheamus and and Drew McIntyre, and the list goes on and on and on. The guy is incredible. His chops will imprint your career for the rest of your career, pretty much, all right? And Jey Uso, he needs a little bit more shine to give him pizzazz, all right? So, that match, I'm picking Gunther to win, but it needs to be the main event. It deserves to be the main event, all right? So, in the comment section below, tell me who you are selecting to win that match. Are you picking Jay? Jay could win. He very well could win. He is over, more over than most of the locker room. All right, more over than anybody in the Raw locker room, SmackDown, NXT. Heck, he's over than most people in AEW, uh, New Japan, AAA. You, you can name any company. He's more over than a lot of people there, and um, he'd be a prime candidate to beat and dethrone and humiliate uh, Gunther live on national television on Monday Night Raw. But do I actually believe it's the moment, it's the time, it's the place, it's the location? No, not a chance. WrestleMania seems like it's the destination that that's going to happen because I think at this year's WrestleMania, it's going to be like, whoa, we have the, inter the one of the longest reigning Intercontinental Championship reign come to an end. We have the longest WWE Universal Championship reign come to an end. Oh, good lord, man. Uh, Rhea Ripley's reign. It's over. It's done. You know, so I don't know. A lot of things are going to change after WrestleMania 40, which things should, they should change because it's WrestleMania 40. Every 10 years in wrestling history, it seems like, woo, crazy things happen. Anyways. Until next time, be hopeful, be faithful, and I will talk to you all soon. All right? <laughs> soon. In the comment section below, let me know who you are picking. Are you picking Gunther? Or are you picking good old Jay Uso? And you can tell the sun's starting to go down. And so am I. Peace on the streets until next time. Whew.